I've wanted to get into RC racing for so long, but I've always been put off by the price. And then I discovered this. So this is the team associated RB10. This thing is ready to run straight out the box and it's perfect for someone like me who's looking to get into racing. And a lot of you know, racing's not really my thing. A lot of the time I'm out doing this. So the plan is to take a closer look at the RB10 and then we're gonna go and test it out on a brand new track. And the track is still under construction. It's not gonna be competitive but it's still gonna be good fun to actually get it out on a proper track. So let's take a look then. This is my brand new team associated RB10. Here it is, this is my new team associated RB10. How cool does this look? It looks like a proper race buggy, especially with this big high downforce wing. I think it looks great. Now, of course, I can't wait to get this out on the track, but we do need to take a closer look at what we get in the box. And of course, a quick look at the chassis features. So in the box, we have some basic tools and some shock preload spacers, a whole bunch of manuals, including the manual for the buggy itself and all of the electronics. There's no battery and charger. You will have to provide that your yourself but that will be okay and i'll tell you why a bit later finally we have the transmitter with a foam grip on the wheel and of course we've got all of the usual trim and dual rate settings yeah these aren't too bad i've actually come across this before with the mt10 so let's get the body off and take a closer look underneath First up, let's talk about the shocks. Now this does come with proper oil filled shocks. They're also metal and they do look like they've come from a racing buggy. I think they've done really well there. Yeah, they feel really good. Quickly show you the rear. So of course we've got plastic shock towers, adjustable turnbuckles, plastic chassis. Everything in here looks really cool, including the waterproof receiver box. Now remember me saying battery choice won't be an issue on this. And that is because you can fit regular sized batteries packs and this will accept a 2s or a 3s and this does feature a dean's connector now on the back of course we have a motor protector this is where our transmission is and this also features a slipper clutch on the rear we also have metal dog bones and look there's more adjustability on the back here we have a multi-surface medium compound tire mounted to white dish wheels these don't actually feel too bad and i'll be interested to see how they perform on the carpet later overall a really nice beginner inspired racing buggy now electronics wise this does feature a reedy 3300 kv brushless motor and reedy brushless esc down here on the servo i am noticing a servo saver that might not be to everyone's liking but of course it will be simple enough to get rid of that the receiver on this also features an inbuilt gyro, which should help to keep this buggy nice and stable when we're ripping it around the track later. But that is pretty much it when it comes to the team associated RB10. There's only one thing left to do, and that is to see how this thing performs on a proper track. Now, the first thing to do was meet up with Gav from RC Kicks. We've both been doing a lot of work with Rochester RC, and we both thought it'd be a great idea to actually go down there and visit. And this is the first time I've ever stepped foot into their shop. Everything in here looks amazing. I could spend a fortune in here. Now, if you didn't already know, Rochester RC offer all of my subscribers 5% off your entire order and free shipping. All you need to do is use code BEYONDRC at checkout to get your discount. So after having a very quick tour around the shop and checking out some of the fantastic stuff on display, it was time to go and test this buggy out on the track. And this is a brand new indoor track, which is run by the guys at Rochester RC. It is still under construction, so things will be changing but it's definitely looking really cool so far. Now, the first thing I did was get the buggy out on the track just to get a feel for it. You have to remember, I'm not a racer. All I ever do is go bashing. So for me, this was an entirely new experience. Power feels nice on 2S, although it does kind of feel a little bit underpowered. Steering servo felt good and it does corner nicely. I don't know, I can kind of see myself getting into the racing side of things. Now I continued sending this thing around the track 
and it seemed to get better and better the more laps I did and that's probably a combination of my driver skill improving and the buggy warming up and getting better but so far it does feel like a really good enjoyable platform. Now I really like what Rochester RC have done here they're making so many more opportunities for people to get into racing. Now if you're in the local area don't hesitate pop down and check this place out because not only are the Rochester RC bunch incredibly knowledgeable but they're also super welcoming and that's exactly what you want as a beginner in the RC hobby you want to be able to walk into a place and people are there to help fantastic work everyone at Rochester RC I've really enjoyed myself today and I'll definitely be popping back down There we go then guys, that was my first run of the Team Associated RB10 around the brand new Rochester RC racetrack. Now I definitely need to change some things on this, including the gearing. On 2S it just felt a little bit underpowered, but if we gear this thing up slightly, I think it will definitely be a lot better. As an overall package, I really can't fault this thing. And if you're a beginner looking to get into RC racing, it could potentially be one of the best ways to go about it. Now me and Gav were discussing this buggy and he did have a really good point. As a beginner starting out in racing, do you go for something like this or look for a second hand race buggy? I think it really will depend on budget because this thing offers the full package straight out the box. Whereas if you buy a second hand racing chassis, of course you're gonna have to provide all of the electronics as well. And that means the price is quickly going to escalate. This this is a super cool buggy and I'm really interested to see how it would perform off-road. Maybe I'll do another video on that soon. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one, take care. If you enjoyed today's video, stick around, click one of these videos now.